Do I have to go through another test? Yes. There cannot be any exceptions. Then let's not waste any time. <laughs> 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 Just as I heard. Outsider. Hm. This place is deeper and darker than the last. Please, be careful. No blade, just like an Altes Lavoie. Yep, no drone scanner either. Lily, are you filling in for Adam? Yeah, he's busy fixing the tetrapod again. Ah, all right. I know I'm in safe hands with you, Lily. As hard as I expected. Nice. Let's take a look at the. The hypercell is intact. I also found a legacy. It's almost like it was planted here for us to see. I'm getting more and more curious. Let's investigate. Let's check it out. Day 78 after the second dive, eighth record. Legacy account Raven. I have discovered an important record of human history. A war ignited by Mother Sphere broke out, and as previously recorded, humanity was defeated. Earth then became the stage for the Andro Ados. Andro Ados declared themselves the new human race. This new human race, with Mother Spear at its heart, made tremendous progress and advanced humanity. And the surviving humans, the real humans, they evacuated to an underground facility. Some led by Raphael Marx waited here at this facility for an opportunity to strike back. During this time, the surviving humans evolved in order to gain the strength to face the androids. The result of genetic engineering and rapid evolution. Beings that have lost everything. Everything but brute strength and survival instinct. That's what they've become. Monsters. The monsters that we're fighting are the Natibas. Natibas. They were humans. Then, those we've killed so far, they were all humans. I. I can't believe this. But this production facility was definitely made for Natibas. If the Natibas were human, we, the ones fighting against humans, must be. Andro Ados? Are we Andro Ados? The creatures brought into existence 
created by Mother Sphere. No! We're humans! Humans with complete bodies, perfectly in harmony with machinery and living tissue. Natibas, on the other hand, are incomplete because they are made only of living tissue. They can't adapt to different environments, and they can't even survive in space! But what if we were created to solve such imperfections? What? Then, why did Mother Sphere hide this truth from us? I need to think. Yes. I don't think we can reach a conclusion about this on our own. I really do think we should talk to Orkel about all this. Yes, let's do that. You're here. Excellent work. Hey, Eve. I'll take care of the hypercell. Orko. I see you have something you'd like to ask me. Perhaps you came across the library at Lavoir. We would like to know the truth. Yes. It is a long, long story. We are certainly human, but this was not the case not too long ago. It is true that those who came before were responsible for the creation of Mother Sphere. The ones now referred to as the last surviving humans. They created us, the Androidos, through Mother Sphere, and for a time we lived in a kind of symbiosis with them. Then... we're androids. We were created. Then why... why did Mother Sphere... The reason is unknown. However, at some point Mother Sphere made a decision. Humanity's survival depended on a reorganization of the species. And that conflict led to war and the eventual extinction of the surviving humans. That can't be. The few who escaped destruction were scattered to the winds, but some managed to flee and find shelter in the ruins in Lavoir. It was originally a facility for the purpose of genetically evolving mankind. After all, lifespans of the surviving humans were very short. That facility was the birthplace of what we have come to call Natibas. The records in the legacy are all true. All this time we have been waging war on our own ancestors. Now, my personal link has extended to a fairly wide area. The next Alpha Natiba cannot be found here on Earth. So, what do you plan to do? Well, well, that still doesn't change the fact that Natibas are our enemies. All right. If we've come this far, we have no choice but to reach the nest through the Master Core. Give me the coordinates of the Alpha Natiba. As you wish. When you return, I will tell you the rest of the story. Or perhaps it would be better to hear it straight from the Elder's mouth. So, you are leaving them? Mm-hmm. I'd 
like to check that area for more information. Understood. The next destination is the orbit elevator. I'm picking up Alpha Nativa signals at the very end of it. At the end of the orbit elevator? You mean in space? Yes, in space. Orbit elevator 4 was operating fine until recently. But getting there won't be easy. Natibas have been surrounding it for a long time. I guess I'll have to come up with an infiltration plan based on the map data. Eve, make sure you and Lily are both well prepared before leaving. Digger, you were the one who spoke with Enya, right? Yes. Artistic activities are truly amazing. It was my first time hearing a song. I feel like my understanding of human culture has improved considerably. I heard you know something about the song. I would like you to tell me more about it. Yes, Eve. You're a very special guest, so I'll tell you. The information actually has to do with Enya's song. I traveled through many different regions before settling at the Scrap Plains. I collected 149 petabytes of data during my journey. When in Zion, I discovered there was a person there who sang a song that matched previously recorded voice data in my audio archive. Different singers can sing the same song. No. The data similarity is so high that it leads me to believe it's the vocalization of the same person. I acquired this data from a location called the Opera House. It is now known as the Buried Ruins. Now I've told you everything I told Enya. All right. It's all starting to make sense, I think. Thank you, Digger. I'm glad to be of service. Please drop by again. Lily, have you seen Adam? Um, he was right here a minute ago. I'm sure he'll show up soon. While we wait, should we check the main body frame? So, Eve, because you've been gathering a healthy amount of combat data, we can now distribute the body cell's power for greater offensive capabilities. It might add some stress, but we could increase the socket count to equip an additional exospine. That'll be of great help during combat. Please get to this right away, Lily. Yep. Oh, hold on. This might sting a little. Just need to separate this. There. Done. <laughs> Thank you, Lily. Are you already prepared to leave? Mm-hmm. Just finished. And you, Lily? We're going to be so close to the colony. It's just a lot for me to process. There's no need to overthink it. Eve is the one going to space anyway. You and I will be waiting in the tetrapod. I know, but... Well, we'll see what she sees. So physical distance won't really matter. Okay? Let's go. All systems clear. Solar tower status normal. Reboot successful. Energy is once again being supplied to the camps. They should work again as intended. What's this? <sighs> well... You see, she's my wife. She died a long time ago. Your wife? Then you should have said so. How could I? I wasn't about to take any chances. Not that it mattered in the end. Well, that's all there is to it, Angel. I may talk big, but I'm still only human. Well, I guess he's not such a bad guy after all, huh? You can have the fusion cell. Oh, okay. Thank you, Angel. Eve, how did everything go? Well, I found important information, thanks to Digger. 
It's about you. About your life before. It might just be speculation, but I think it's safe to assume Digger is right. I also found out the title of your song. I'm listening. You used to be an artist, in a broader collection of artists. But this was the most important clue. You were featured in a piece titled Madama Machine. The song you sang in it closely resembles the song you sing now. The song's title is Beyond Fate. Beyond fate? Is that so? Yes, though that's only part of the whole picture. It's okay. This is enough. Are you... are you sure about that? I still have more to share. Mm. Beyond fate. My past self could be urging me with those very same words. To try and make peace with the past I've lost, and accept what I have now. <sighs> it seems as if my obsession has troubled many people. But now, I have someone looking out for me. Isn't that all that really matters? Well, I suppose you're right. Eve, thank you. You've done so much for us. All right. Take this data. What is stored there will help you fully restore beyond fate. Okay. Thank you, Eve. If I may, could I maybe ask you to sing that song for me now? Oh, I'd be happy to. Well, I must say, I'm very grateful. What do you think you're... <laughs> Sorry, I mean, are you actually cooking? For what reason? Reason? <laughs> Everything doesn't have to have a reason, you know. You had no reason to help me, but you did it anyway. Yes, you're right. Scraps, parts, energy, you name it. Everybody's fighting for scraps. Let's do this later. 
Oh, we don't need this now. This is just how things are. We've given up the finer things in life. If all we're living for is bare necessity, how are we any different from the machines? I'm just trying to hold on to the past. That's all. Well, must be nice. I'm surprised. All this time I thought you were just a freak. <laughs> I must have some life in me after all, if I manage to surprise an angel. See you later, Barry. I hope your determination never dies. You got it. Take care, Angel. It's over. Wow. What a place. Oh my goodness. It's full of plants and little birds. Welcome to Lily's Atelier. This is my favorite green garden. Have a look around. I'll just head over to the secret workroom in the meantime. Never been to such a beautiful place. Colony's greatest hacker. And the comrade I cared most about. She fell asleep a year ago due to body cell damage. Lily. Sorry for leaving you all alone, Iberus. I'll come and visit you often. This contains a deep algorithm hacking system, along with Iberus's memories. This is what she left for the world. Her legacy. <laughs> Thank you for waiting. Let's go now. Iberus. Goodbye. Nobody roams these lands free of suffering. Nobody. Not even Lily. You're right. Shall we get going then?
So, are you saying that's where the Alpha Core is? Adam? Are you listening to me? Oh, uh, sorry. I got a message from Zion. Is everything all right? Something serious seems to have happened. I... I have to return to Zion. What? But we've come this far. Okay, I'll go on alone. If I were to go back to Zion now, there's no way to know how things will change. Eve. Drop me off, then head back to Zion. It's fine. I can do this alone. Wait. I think I have a really great idea. You could leave the drone operation to me. Adam can take the hoverbike back to Zion while I operate. A perfect plan, right? Lily, not just anyone is able to operate drones. You need a wide field of view, the ability to make smart decisions fast, and... And the stabilizer, scanner, and link sensors do all the work for you. How... how did you...? I figured it all out while modifying the railgun. Went for some test drives, too. It still doesn't compare to the knowledge you gain from real experience. Do you agree with Lily's idea, Eve? Adam, you can trust us. Go. Okay, okay. Fine. You win. Don't overdo anything while I'm gone. I'm looking at you, Lily. Time to show off my skills. The orbit elevator. It was operational until recently. It's still transferring power from fusion cells. Dumping empty boxes out into space. Hypertube's power link device. If you turn on all the. This place is crawling with nature. Great! The hypertube is connected to the power. Wow! It's opening! It's windy! There's no end in sight. Will we be okay? It was sealed off, so it'll probably be safer than other routes. <sighs> What's up? Is something wrong? No, it's nothing.
Lily, what's this place for? This is where resources and raw materials are sent to the orbit elevator. Oh, Lily, there's a strange device up ahead. Just a moment, please. I just need to separate the object from the map data. Oh, wow! It's a security turret that fires plasma. I'll handle it. Huh? If you do that, they might... Whoa! You wrecked it in one hit! I just got lucky. All right then, this way. Ah! Lily! I'm okay. Watch out! <laughs> We have to get out of here. Come on. Run. Don't stop. Hurry up. Keep on running. one we're good now I'm getting nervous let's get moving agreed I can see the space center over there we made it to the space center This is the orbit elevator. Contamination is spreading here as well. And it seems to be much worse. Right, shall we go? Getting power. Let's go to the other side. It has regenerative abilities. The blade alone won't be enough for this one. I didn't think it was going to be this powerful. My arm, it feels strange. The body cell is overloaded. The drone is unstable as well. Will I be able to overcharge again? Maybe once or twice, but no more. Okay, I'll have to save it. large-scale source of contamination.
finally safe now. If it's not one thing, it's another. Guess I'm not surprised. Welcome home, Master. Uh, who's that? Welcome back to Orca Aerospace. I am your humble maid, Arisa. I am the guide for the VIP room. As a code red has been issued across the facility, all passenger transport has been suspended. Master, if you would please wait inside a lift until everything is safe. The second floor is the family suite. Status of the railgun. Sure. Booster, cooling system, sensors, we're all looking fine. We just need to be careful with the power overload. I heard something. I'm not getting a single signal. <sighs> wow. The atmosphere here is so unique. And it's in pretty good shape. I think it should smell nice, too. Yeah, I smell flowers. But... Ah? Uh, something's fishy. Oh, come on! These are all fake! I guess even the VIPs couldn't see the real ones. Ah! Lily! Lily? Do you hear me? Lily! Targeting the drone first. They're getting smarter. You're definitely not ordinary. Lily. Lily. Oh, it's connected. Whew. I can see now. What happened, Eve? It was an Atiba ambush. I knew it. Well, are you all right? Yes. It was nothing. I'll give you the details on the way up. Did we make it? We did. But... 
There's a strong electromagnetic field surrounding this place. It feels just like the eye of a hurricane. Over there! My goodness! What did you... What have you done to yourself? I see... All that pain. I'll put an end to it. Real Alpha. Uh, we're in low orbit, so gravity is still an issue. At this rate... We can't just leave the Alpha Natiba here. Lily, use all my body cell power to overcharge the railgun. What? But there's no way you'll survive! It's okay. This is what I was born to do. <sighs> Lily, please! Cell connected. Full power overcharge ready. SOS to the colony. Please, somebody, anybody, we need help! Thank you for coming back alive. It was Mother Sphere. She must have heard me. 
No, Linny. It's thanks to you. I was able to come back because of you. Thank you. And Adam? I haven't had any contact with him since then. I can't even reach him through the emergency communication line. What do you think happened? I wonder if something happened to him in Zion. Could it be? Yes? Nothing. Come on, we've got to hurry. Goodness! Zion is... <sighs> oh, Lily. Is this what Adam was talking about? We have to go down. I'm sensing an alpha signal coming from the presence chamber. Orkel. He could be. I'll try to do something here with the exosuit. Eve, hurry to the presence chamber. Okay, I'm going. Be careful, Lily.